beach not far away. I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. My other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in. Today on Dino Squad, the team battles an outbreak of mutant hedgehogs, and Fiona's little sister makes a bad situation even worse when she tries to help. I'm okay. You won't be when I get through with you. As promised, Aunt Louise's totally original award-winning chicken sausage and mushroom paella. You would not believe the day we had. I'm talking about one major freakazoid mutation. I hope it wasn't too dangerous, Paella. Thanks. They were mutant hedgehogs. I mean, they can be only so menacing. At one point, Buzz and Caruso tried to lasso one like it was the hedgehog rodeo, and Caruso wound up face down in the mud. He was so annoyed, his hair was caked with mud. And Buzz was like, What are you complaining about? You see what it did to my mohawk? So what's new with you, sugar? Nothing much. And then you drop this program from your executables, and voila, your computer's twice as fast. I never thought of that. Comes from years and years of crashing my computer. Oh, like you've never crashed a server? I'm a football player. When am I going to use algebra in the real world? Your team is down by 12. What's the least you have to do to win? That's easy. Get two touchdowns and convert the point after. Really? Each touchdown is worth six points, so you need two of them to make 12 for the tie. And each point after is worth one, so you get two touchdowns and one PAT, and boom, you're ahead. Congratulations! You just use algebra in the real world. <laughs> Whoa! These are Mondo readings! Lake Big Mac? More hedgehogs? I could have sworn we got them all. Maybe you missed some of the ooze in the area? We'd better go double check. Suit up, guys. My very first mission! Wrong. Absolutely not. And in case you missed it, no. You're not the boss of me. I agree. See? I'm agreeing with Fiona. It's too dangerous to be out there when you can't morph. But I can do other things. Yeah, like manning the computers here. That's your expertise. Stuff on satellite duty? What's that about? <sighs> You get to go on missions all the time. And you're a dog. Chill in and spill. Let's hope we've seen the last Hedgehogosaurus. More hedgehogs? That was the big threat? Well, thanks for keeping me here so far from all of the danger. For all we know, it could have been prehistoric land-roving sharks. This is so not right. You guys get to morph and everything. Why don't you focus on what you can do? Because anybody can do what I do. Who can't sit in front of a computer pushing a mouse? Prehistoric land-roving shark? Would it have gills or lungs? I was just wondering the same thing. Don't devalue your gifts that way. What you do really is important. And although sometimes it means doing things that are less exciting, using your skills in a way that best serves the team is just a matter of good judgment. You want excitement? I'm working on something really amazing. Let me guess. Combination gyroscope and mocha latte chino maker? <laughs> Presenting the Dino Personnel Carrier. 600 horsepower, zero emission, three motor design, titanium alloy axles, a windshield that can withstand a T-Rex, and at Roger's insistence, a chai tea dispenser. Fiona's tricked out the mechanicals. 
but I need help debugging the Navi computer. Trey, cool. Count me in. some pretty solid readings here. It's in the same area as the hedgehogs. You said you were certain you found all of the ooze. We did. I'm sure we got it all. You have to do a thorough search of the area. There must be a reason we're seeing these recurrences. Can I please go along this time? It's just more hedgehogs. What if it turns out to be something more dangerous? Like what? Adolescent mutant samurai aardvarks? Sorry, kiddo. But good judgment means that this is the best place for you to use your unique skills. Sir, I'm picking up a new signature. Aside from the animals we mutated? Affirmative. Could it possibly be those elusive, perfect dinosaurs? At last! The new tracking system works perfectly. I wonder what happens when I plug into the navigation computer on this. Awesome interface. Roger's going to be totally psyched. I can't wait to show him. Hey, maybe I won't wait. What's she doing here? Making a mess? We better do something before anything bad happens. Go, Dino! Flash, T-Max. Something bad just happened. We can't help her without exposing our human identities to Velocity's forces. I'm starting to see the upside of staying in the lighthouse. I'll lead them away. You take care of Terry. The T-Rex takes first priority. After it! I'm okay. You won't be when I get through with you. Guys, I think I found their hide. Maybe that'll be a lesson to you. What were you thinking? Latte should have only a whisper of cinnamon. This is a full-blown shout. Lost them. We should get going while the going is good. Hedgehogs? Beavers? Since there's more than one kind of mutant in the area, I'm thinking we're looking for a major spill. We've got to locate and eliminate it now. We can't keep coming back here. There's going to be some trick with the area crawling with Velocity's oozer losers. Which is why I brought this handy-dandy little gadget. A combination ooze tracker and motion detector. 
for spotting spills and avoiding Velocity's henchmen. It's also good for getting out stubborn stains. Although I like to take full credit, the motion tracker itself wasn't working reliably until Terry worked out the kinks. See? My mad skills on the tech more than make up for my lack of field experience. Sorry, Terry. It doesn't make up for your lack of judgment. After all, you did almost get us captured by Velocity's goons. Speaking of which, we're about to have company. We lost them, sir. No matter. Now that I have proof those perfect dinosaurs can be lured back to this area, I can deploy my master project. You're banishing me? I'm sorry, but you've left me no choice. At least until you prove that you've learned to exercise better judgment. These readings are off the scale. Lake Micmac again? This has to be about more than testing mutations. I'm concerned it's related to your encounter there with Velocity's henchmen. Are you suggesting we just ignore it? I'm suggesting you employ every caution. The reading seems to be coming from there. Only it can't be a spill because it it's definitely moving. Yeah moving right toward us, which means we need to go, go Dino! My masterpiece, the Mecha Mutation, a blending of ooze and machine, the perfect device to hunt down and capture those elusive dinosaurs. Success! This isn't a randomly mutated animal, which means it had to be created by Victor Velocity. Guys, little help? Buzz, keep it busy. On it, T-Max. <sighs> when we're done here, can I take a nap? <sighs> Telling what else it can do. Spy cams. And by the looks of them, they contain titanium alloy, anti gravity, not you. Never mind the science. Run! At last, I found them. An authentic T Rex, Stegosaurus, Pteranodon, Spinosaurus, and even a Styracosaurus. How could we change back with these things following us? Soon, so soon, genetically perfect dinosaurs will be under my control, and I alone will hold the key to recreating true dinosaurs. <laughs> When will Fiona be home? I have no idea. She's probably out with the guys having the time of her life. Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to make it home in time for dinner? Anybody else starting to miss giant hedgehogs and beavers? I, for one, am tired of letting these things get the better of us. Time for us to start scoring points on them! Remind me not to play billiards with the T-Rex. Nice going, Max. You got them all. Great. Let's change back before... No! We have to track down that mechanical monster while we can. For all we know, it's programmed to follow us home. Get real. How would that thing possibly follow us? In theory? It could hone in on our genetic signatures, or the specific pheromones given off by the ooze whenever we change into dino. You just had to ask, didn't you? It's no use. 
I can't get into Velocity's system to find out how to defeat that thing. But I know just who might. Wait, you want me back? After the way I put everyone in danger? You did show bad judgment, but you also have a lot of unique skills, and the team and I need you now. This mechanical ooze automaton appears to run from a centralized computer core, which is streaming information to Velocity through his satellite wing. And you want to sever the connection? Absolutely not. Tapping into Velocity's system is the only way into that monster. I slip in through the back door, shut down its operating system. No more monster! I like the sound of that. Oops! We got spotted by the firewall. Maybe if I... He's got some firewall. Our buddies are back. They're way too fast. And there are way too many. The DPC's computer runs independently from the lighthouse's system. It should still be fully operational. Visible barrier? Not fair. I know. I totally had that idea first. We aren't going anywhere. And if we change back, Velocity will know we're human. So what now? Yep, still online. I'm in. And if I can adjust my firewall in time, I can stop his system from invading this computer. This cannot be good. Oh, great. Now I'm riding the bumper cars. Any luck, Terry? Big time. I'm already inside Velocity's system. If I can just make my way to the root directory. Oh, man. This cannot get any worse. Newsflash, it just did. It's OK. Just a little pushback from Velocity's fire. It's too dangerous. Abandon the mission. I just need a few more seconds and... Ha! There you are, my critical little operating files. Velocity sure did a great job hiding you, but not good enough to stop me from doing this. This little piggy got deleted. And this little piggy got deleted, too. And this little piggy got lost on the way to market. And this little piggy went goodbye. Terry, get out now! I'm glad I learned not to argue with you, Ms. Moynihan. That was close. Were you able to get into that monster's operating system? You betcha. Things are looking bad for our team. But even worse for theirs. What's going on? Our Navi computer's offline. We're flying blind, sir. Who's in control? Right now? Nobody, sir! Schmose. At least we're free. What about Velocity? I was so close. So close. I can't get out of this pitiful human form. Just going to stand there? Get me out of here! And how did I know my little sister was behind that monster's falling apart? Only trying to make up for putting everybody in danger before. Pretty bad judgment on my part. Maybe so, but you've shown good judgment too, along with some truly unique strengths. 
You're going to make a great member of the Dino Squad, even if you aren't a dinosaur. You really think so? You kidding? The way you stayed inside that Dino DPC when it was going crazy? I wish I had your fearlessness, not to mention your computer savvy. We all have our own mad skills. The way you were swatting those drones with your tail. If you were batting for Boston, you'd have been hitting them right out of the park. That's true. Not to mention the fact that nobody is better at perfecting a hairstyle than I am. Wait a minute. What happened to the DPC? Good question. Terry, where's our car? Don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA. Now we're trying to 